Hi everyone, this is Tiffany again and I wanted to talk to you today about binders. So the way you organize your trading binder is really important because it definitely reflects how people are going to view your cards. So if, for example, you put all of your great things in the front, um, people might start to notice as they go by that there's nothing else that they want and they might not pay attention towards the end of your binder. But it, if you scatter things throughout, then it might be harder for people to find things. So there are a bunch of different strategies on how to organize your binder. I'm just going to tell you mine and you guys can tell me yours. So first thing I want to do before I get into that is I want to make a minor complaint. So um, the monster protection binders, or this one that I got, um, with the white inside, I am not a big fan of. I got it because I heard that Monster was supposed to be the best brand because it costs twice as much as Ultra Pro, most of the binders, and so I thought that it would be worth the extra money for quality. But what I found is that after about a year of using it, not even a year yet, you can see that the front page is like peeling off. Um, additionally, in between the pockets, you can see that there are these little slits, and that can't be good for your cards, especially if you put all your good things in the front. You don't want the whole page to just fall off. So I decided to get a different binder. Um, my new binder is Ultra Pro, and so. I know people who've had Ultra Pro for years, and it's been working for them, so we'll see if it works for me too. Let me know what you think. But uh, I have this one right here, and it has black insides, and I'm just going to go over how I organize my binder. So the front page is very important, because the front page is what people look at first, obviously, and that's when people are most excited. So you need to get their attention with something. And you want to get their attention with things that you actually really want to trade with them. So, oh, disclaimer, this isn't to show you guys what I have because I want to trade with you guys or because I want to sell my cards or anything. It's just for demonstration. But, um, and don't make fun of me because <laughs> my cards aren't extremely valuable. I've only been playing for almost a year now, so, okay. Anyway, so this is my front page and um, I put all the cards that I want to trade away, especially want to trade away here. And then after that, what I do is I organize my binder by color. And it's important to organize your binder by color because that way people who have specific cards they're looking for will have an easier time looking for those cards in your binder. And it won't be as frustrating and they'll be more likely to pay attention to where they would more likely want cards. Like EDH players may want only the cards that their commanders have. So that's an example. But anyway, so after my front page, I have colorless and then lands. And then it goes into the different colors. So um, you guys get it, black, green, red, white, and then I have multicolor. Um, and then what I do is I have the section in the back um, that has cards that I do want to trade, but I would only trade for things that um, I really want. Because I want this section to be separate from the rest of my binder because I want to give more attention to it because these are things that I find more valuable and so I'm guessing people would generally find more valuable and that way um, when they get to the section they know to pay more attention again. And the reason why I don't put this next to my front page is like I said earlier, if people skim through your first few pages and then after that all they see are, um, are junky cards, it may not be to your benefit. So that's why I have the section in the back. Um, for me, that's uh, some shock lands, creeping tar pits, um, abrupt decays, a few demonic tutors, and scavenging ooze, and then all my thalias. I'm sorry if you can't see, the light isn't very good here, but um, all my thalias, then I have some crypt gas, and I like to leave notes in my binder. That's another thing that I want to talk to you guys about. So, 
Um, some people like to keep their cards in their binders exclusively cards that they want to trade, which makes sense. It is a trading binder. For me, I don't want to carry multiple binders around, and I want all my cards in one place. So I put cards that I don't necessarily want to trade also in my binder, but to avoid the awkward, oh, is that for trade? No, it's not. <laughs> um, what I do is I put signs. So for here, it says no more trades beyond this page and then I have random cards of no value around that because I find them cute <laughs> um, but uh, I also have another sign before I get to that sign that says the only other trades um, beyond this point are foil commons and tokens so that people who are looking for uh, random foils that aren't worth much for their peasant cube or people who just collect foils will know to look there but people who don't necessarily um, have interest in that can spend more time in the other parts of your binder that matter more to them. So another thing I want to bring up is with multiple cards, I have little pieces of post-it paper that say an X and then the number of cards I have. So for example, here for the far and away, I have three of them, so I have a note that says x3. So there's three of them stacked on top of each other into the same pocket. That way I save space in my binder and people will know exactly how many I have. Um, I don't do that with cards that matter more to me. For example, the Demonic Tutor. I had two in the back section and I have one up front. I, I have the one up front to show that I have them for trade, but I wouldn't stack them on top of each other because um, I find it more valuable. So that's the way I organize my trade binder. Let me know how you organize yours and if um, you have any suggestions for me or if you agree with some things I said, let me know and I'm excited to see what you guys have, <laughs> what you guys have to say. Okay, bye.